How's it going guys? My name is Hugh and in this week's video I am going to be building a lightsaber. Now if you guys remember from one of my previous videos uh, we actually built a custom Star Wars character. His name was Marcus Ronan and in doing so all I had was Darth Vader's lightsaber as you can see way the heck up here. I actually want to give you guys a little story behind this saber. Uh, this was me and my brother's first lightsaber. This was one of the Darth Vader uh, collector's edition sabers or something back in the day. This was before Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. This was before they started mass producing these things. And we've had this thing for, oh gosh, I don't know, six, I mean, not even that, maybe seven years. It is a little beat up. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see on the camera, but it is a little beat up. I mean, it's fairly old. This thing has been beat up because we toyed with it a lot. There you go. Now I can see it a little better. It's, it's been toyed with quite a bit, so this is a real memory piece. Still works. But still, no. There it is. So if you hit it like here, that's what's going to do that. Basically, the last hair we're going to be building is... Uh, for the YouTube channel, the Green Ghoul Media YouTube channel. Now, I am going to be building another lightsaber for Marcus Ronin, my custom Star Wars character, but I actually did it a little bit off camera, and I will reveal to you guys what his saber is going to look like. I'm not going to reveal the saber color, just the design of the blade itself. So stay tuned at the end of the video where we're Marcus Ronin, my custom Star Wars character's custom built lightsaber. So let's go ahead and jump right in for the official Green Ghoul Media lightsaber. All right, so we're gonna be building this thing on saberforge.com. Now I've been exploring this website for a little bit and this is one of the four or five different lightsaber companies you can get lightsabers from, purely for dueling or for prop uh, collecting or whatever. Uh, but I've been through all the menus of this uh, particular website and Saberforge has some really cool hilts and uh, parts and all that sort of, sort of stuff. I don't know. You can clearly tell I lost my Star Wars knowledge because I don't even know what all these individual parts are anymore. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and get cracking on it. So the first thing I'm going to do is get rid of this uh, blade, actually. I'm going to remove that. Thank you very much. So, ow! So I'm going to start with the admitter. I'll leave a link in the description below if you guys want to go to Saber Forge and kind of play around with this little uh, configuration program. Maybe you guys can create some really cool lightsabers. I know my buddy Ryan is going to build something pretty sweet. I know he wants to build like a tri lightsaber, like a three prong lightsaber. So Ryan, if you see this buddy, you, <laughs> yeah, yeah, this, you got to do this. This is going to be fun. <laughs> anyway, so let's pick an emitter. I'm definitely not going to do a three prong one. I want to keep it simple, kind of keep it unique. Oh, this is going to get really annoying. So if you have to hear my mouse clicking a bunch of times, just, just so you know, I'm scrolling through the menu all the time. Uh, I don't want, this is, that's, that's a little too much. Yeah, I don't want that. Oh, oh, guys, I forgot to do something. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Ha 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 Damn. So actually what I'm going to be doing is seeing how much this lightsaber is going to be if I actually have to order it and have it sent to me, basically. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to pick whatever things are available. Now this is going to be interesting because a lot of the specialty bits, some of this stuff is not going to be available. So this will be a bit of a challenge for me to try and find something that they physically have and build a lightsaber based on that because it's, it's stuff that I can actually get and order the actual lightsaber to me instead of just creating it digitally in the program. Now, I kind of want to stay in a certain budget, so let's start from high to, or excuse me, from low to high. Um, and a lot of these are really reasonably priced, like 30 bucks for some of these things, 39, 35. These are pretty good. These are full metal bits, by the way, guys. These are all fully metal. So don't be discouraged if you see some of these are really expensive or they might be cheap. These are all fully metal. But what I'm going to avoid is th these ones down here, any of these down here, I'm going to avoid because obviously they don't have them. So we're going to... I forgot. Excuse my mouse for squeaking. Oh, God. I gotta... You know what? Ah, oh, there's nothing in my eye. Get out of here. Ah. If this video does well, guys, and we get at least, I don't know, maybe five or ten likes on this video, I will actually build Ryan his lightsaber. Now, I know he wants red. Um, so we're definitely going to base off of that. And heck, I might even have him with me while we're building this lightsaber. So you hear that, Ryan? You hear that? 
You can be on the show. Bruh. So if this video gets 10 likes, I will definitely make another video like this where we build Ryan's, his official lightsaber, which would be pretty thick. And the same thing for Xander and Brian. So if these videos do really well, we'll definitely make some custom lightsabers for the guys. Okay, so there's that emitter again. Now, keep in mind the 3D program is not going to show the weathered look. Ooh, I kind of like that. Nah, it's got to be super clean. It has to be clean. Now, they have this. Okay, good. They have that one. You'll know if they have one and when it says this, sold out. That's the challenge here. It actually has to be ones they have in stock. And that's the thing. I'm very simple. I'm not really... Ooh. That one looks moist. <laughs> <laughs> this is kind of cool. You know what? Ooh, very clean. Very, very clean. You know what? I like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, it is a little generic, but that's me. I'm a basic bitch, so, you know, I like basic stuff. Let's switch over to the switches. <laughs> now, there was one switch in here that I was very curious about. Where? is it this one with that little button thing on there that looks kind of cool or redeemer got it you know uh i don't know the button cut this thing is cool okay let me change the color maybe make it black uh do they actually have that one in stock yes they do have the black okay i'm not really feeling it i don't know why it's eh, i'm not really feeling that switch okay let me try another one real quick Ooh, i kind of like this one okay let's try that see now i need to change the emitter though because that emitter, that emitter doesn't quite go with the button combo there. Now, actually, which one is this? <laughs> which one is this? That is Switch 8. Okay, so let's see. Do they have Switch 8? Oh, they don't have Switch 8. Okay. Okay, gotta find another one. What about the Venom Switch? I like Venom. He's a cool character. Venom Switch? Oh, that's gonna be... Oh, dang it. That's way at the, the end. There it is. Yeah. I mean, it's... Pretty biscuit. A biscuit? Biscuit? Ugh, it's pretty biscuit, bro. That is so biscuit, dude. I just, I don't know, man. I ain't feeling that biscuit. It's pretty hashtag biscuit, right? Why does, it, why does that look good? That The little grill. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Seven. Ooh. For some reason, that, it looks like skin. Like snake skin or something? Like it's, what, what's that material that's like, it's like chain mail or something. Okay, after a few minutes, I actually went back to this emitter again. And it kind of looks like, I, I like cyberpunk stuff, or cyberpunk synthwave stuff. So that, that blade kind of, kind of represents that. Because all these other ones are like, like it looked like it was made out of some metal pieces, you know, like plates of metal. Oh, most of them are pretty rounded out. All right, now we're into the bodies. Okay, so what do we got here? Okay, so now we need to change this to... Uh, hey, why are you zooming in? Stop, 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 stop. Thank you. I don't need you to zoom all the way in, bruh. Okay, set that. Uh, why are you zoom in? Stop it. That. So I think we're gonna go with the katana one, which is where to go. There's this guy. So this is the short version, and they do have the standard in stock, so that's perfect. Let's move on to the next piece. Let's see. We need something super futuristic. This one looks kind of cool. The Gladys one. <laughs> Why does that look so damn small? What the heck happened? Why does that look so small compared to the rest of the dang thing? Okay, well, that's a no-no. I think number four would look better on it, probably. Let's just, let's change that. Oh my god, that looks so much better. That looks so much better. It's a lot of uh, chrome going on, but again, it's supposed to be a very clean one. I don't want it to be like all black. I kind of want a little bit more chrome in this one. Actually, this looks pretty good because the stripes kind of line up here, which is really nice. Yeah, so that's kind of cool because the stripes line up perfectly. Now, the only... Whoa! Didn't mean to do that. The only thing I'd probably change is this now. The switch just doesn't seem to fit the rest of it, actually. And I kind of want to... Well, we'll go back to this in, in a little bit, so... I think that's pretty much it for the bases of this thing. Uh, now it's time for the blades. Now, I, I definitely like a 32-inch blade. Um, 32 is kind of the norm, 
for these particular lightsabers. I, I think, I don't know, it's either 32 or 34, so I, don't, I have no idea. So we definitely need to make it green. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good, actually. I like how that turned out, except this. Like, I'm not quite, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go change that. That's that's uh, that's a no-no, I gotta, I gotta. Oh my God, that looks so much better. What is that? That is switch number 10, right? Yeah, switch number 10, okay. And they have this one, right? Dang it! What about just black? Oh, they have black. Would black look okay? Like the only extra black piece on there. You know what? If you had a silver button on that, that would look pretty good. That's actually not bad. It's kind of a nice middle ground of mixture. Okay, yeah, that'll work. I like the black on that. Okay, I think uh, I think we're pretty much good. Let me take one more look at this thing. Let me try one more thing. I want to see what this other uh, emitter looks like real quick. There's another one I was looking at here a little bit off camera, so... You know what? I kind of like that one better because look at the design on this now. Now the silver and black line up a lot better. Oh, and, and look at the curves. Look at the curves right here. It lines up with this too. Okay, this is official. This is the one right here. What, what, what? I don't even know what number that was. What was I looking at? Oh, this one. Okay, that's perfect. I like that one much better. That one looks, and they have it, right? Yep, they have it. Perfect. Well, there you go, guys. I think we have officially made the green cool media lightsaber let me go down the list of the things that we got so we got the emitter number nine and then we got this one switch number 10 we got the katana body short version then we got the number four pommel for the bottom of the lightsaber i like that color so now it's the final part where we got to total up the price. Oh, I also forget Saber Forge has a assembly fee that you can have them like assemble the lightsaber for you. So whatever parts you pick out, you can actually go to here, the assembly service, and actually have them assemble it for you for like 25 bucks. But check this out. So you can choose any sort of blade that you want. So if you have a triple, you have a triple saber you have a single blade with the kyber crystal showing but i'm just going to do a regular single blade i'm not really picky on sound so i'm just going to do the warrior it's just a very basic dueling lightsaber for about 100 bucks make sure i pick the right color green the 32 inch with a blade plug so that's kind of nice uh, i'm also going to get the belt clip because yes i would like to clip it to my belt and then so total is about 134 for all of that stuff with the service of them putting it together so if my math is correct let's go ahead and total all this up um, i don't have a i don't have a calculator wait do i have one on my my desktop or something so we got 39.99 for the emitter piece plus the switch which is about 20 bucks we also got the body which was 39 uh the pommel which is about 15 bucks pretty fair deal and then the service including the saber uh, and i think that's the only thing let's go ahead and add that to the thing and it's free shipping here in the u.s so that's kind of nice so you don't have to worry about that so we're looking at $250 for this thing. That's pretty good with free shipping. Um, it does, so if you include the tax, maybe about $255 or $260 or something like that. Fully dual proof, so you can use this for dueling, you can use it for a prop, you can use it for however you like. That's perfect for that kind of budget that's really good, especially within my budget. I definitely don't want to spend like anything over $300 for a lightsaber, especially if it's just something that, especially if it's something that's just going to sit on my, uh, especially if it's something that's just going to sit on my shelf. Um, I definitely wasn't going to bust an arm and a leg to get something like this. Eh. Did I forget to mention it's 1.30 something in the morning when I'm filming this? <sighs> Your boy tired. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm sorry. I forgot to show you guys Marcus Ronin's custom lightsaber, which is right here. So basically this is his custom lightsaber that I built uh, a little bit off camera. We got the nice reptile brown grip here. I think this was the... I don't remember what grip that was. Okay, so for the emitter, which is up here, this is the outcast emitter. Right here, we have the number 15 switch that I made black. Um, and I actually got a silver button for this 
for both of them actually so that they will kind of contrast really well with the silver here so for the pommel which is this piece this is the dissident uh, that i made black to kind of contrast the switches up here and then last but not least we got the body which is the gladius body i think i'm saying that gladius or gladius body um weathered now this is the standard here in the 3d model but the weathered look looks really good actually you know what let me pull up a picture show you what the weathered parts look like real quick bam so that is what the outcast emitter is supposed to look like but in the 3d model it just looks weird it just looks all uh, like gray or something but this is what it's actually going to look like it's pretty sick i wanted to give his some wear and tear like he actually built it have some random parts around the shop and molded them the best way he could that's what it's supposed to look like uh, let me go to the uh, body. Bam. So that is what the weathered look of the Gladius body or Gladius body looks like. It looks spot on to how the emitter looks as far as the details and the weathering effects go. This looks really sick. And this leather grip, like I said, I made it to the Reptile Brown, which is down here. This guy, which I, it, I think looks really nice on it. It looks super, super nice on it. Now, the 3D model doesn't really give it much justice, but you can kind of imagine, like, this piece down here on this saber. It looks really good at least as far as my mind goes I, I think it looks really good anyway so if you guys like this video and you want to see me do a couple more videos like this where we build custom lightsabers for all of the guys a part of the green ghoul media crew let me know down in the comments below who i should do next for building a lightsaber <laughs> the way i said that Give this video at least 5 or 10 likes and we will definitely do another video like this where we involve one of the other guys and we will sit down and build their custom lightsaber to their liking. If you guys want me to order this official lightsaber for the Green Ghoul Media YouTube channel, let me know down in the comments. Hashtag Ghoul Saber. If you guys want me to actually purchase this lightsaber and review it on the channel for a future video. You guys have an awesome rest of the week and I will see you goons later. Push.